Hello all you happy people. I am back. I'm trying to do something with the on-camera chat again, or on-screen chat again. So your wittiness, if you're in the chat, can be immortalized with the world. We are on a, um... Oh crap, the name of the planet just fell out of my head. I'm gonna chat on that side. It should, hopefully, not cover up any of the quest, of quest stuff. I mean, as it stands now, my overlay, the username stuff does cover up the, um... Unfortunately, cover up the, uh compass but we should be okay the main step is where we're covering up for you the viewer is quest overlay stuff so you can tell what quest I'm on and party member stuff so you can tell how I'm doing all right we're looking for Zorai's heirloom Ron Havarl. The vault down below. We do have, we have PB and we have Oh. PB got a whole bunch of points to level up, so let's pump up her shockwave. Damage and force, radius, or damage and force. Do damage and force. Let's do that more often. And we can't do much with those other two because everything else she has is level 3 or better. Open ammo and health. This isn't exactly a vault. Correction, this is a vault. This kind of a slightly different case because Havarl's vault is actually already active. Which is part of the problem here is because we're missing one relay. So its instructions are not being conveyed properly. reincarnation stuff you're asking if I believe yes sure not the way Esmos does all right that is a fall straight to the straight to our death so let's not take that anything else we can scan around here does it look like it? We're gonna keep weapons under wraps. Until something shows up that we actually have to shoot at. Who happens? There's one door, but not the other two. Well, there's a second. There, oh! Crap. Oh shit, that was bad. Assembler, assembler. 
Ich bin schon Hey, you gave me help. I am really pleased by the fact that the sword lets me regenerate my health. Okay, and it deals just enough damage to kill a breacher in one shot. Which means if I run into a bunch of remnant and they send breachers at me, I can just cleave through them to rebuild my health. Homer. This isn't particularly a door, but it is cover. I probably could have theoretically, if I ran into a pinch, fallen back here and used this as defensive position. Though these bad boys. Oh, and, and thrown those at the enemy. Here's an actual door, also health refill. Yeah, we have an actual map here, so that way, but that way there is blocked off, so I have to swing around it looks like. Oh, ammo refill too. I hear Remnant. There's a Breacher. We have assembler over there. You mind? You're my spot, sir. Over there. Um. Always go left. Oh, hi. Okay. No loot here, and we are undamaged. So far, so good. Oh, never mind. Just gonna just go straight to the shooty time. Ouch. Shoot! That, no, 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 don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot! Phrasing. One turret down, one turret to go.
Time to run away! Oh, hey, Breacher! Here, Breacher, 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 Breacher! Oh, no, 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 bad Breacher, bad. That's bad. So that's what ominous hum sounds like. I didn't get a chance to scan it before it blew up. Damn. And I got some health back. So we have remnant writing or information conveyal. They're sort of a living data circuit thing, but it's not complete. So not this way, because this way down here is more of that electro water stuff. Electrified water. That what this also looks like is this looks like one of the platforms for um, terminals for uh, the anti-grav. So what I assume this means is we have to activate something to get up there. And hello the chest that is open and it doesn't appear to be congress for the rest of the environment so somebody else was down here and left this box Here's the quest objective. All right, up this way. Just drinking some of my refreshing drink. Caffeinated drink. I hear remnant up ahead. Assembler around this way. Another assembler over there. So just two assemblers, no turret. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, well, so much for that. Crap, doll fires. Doll fires, pretty targets. Alright, that's a nuisance. Oh, crap, another one! That's why he's. That's a nuisance. Give me through the. Oh, to be flanked.
There we go, got that one down with a little percussive breaking. Okay. Two tech from that side. You run from behind because that's where its weak spot is. Hey, good, you're good at prioritizing me. There we go. Basically, the way you handle those guys is you use your party to draw aggro and attack from one direction while you go the other way, or vice versa. Mm-hmm. This gauntlet. Would that be like a um, Omni tool? All oh, right. Got it. Looks like it might have been some kind of glove or gauntlet. Smashed though. Inside, studded with contacts. Could have been used for some kind of end. Going from the now to Tavos. I'm curious to see what happens. It means we have to get out, and we can't get out yet because the bottom of a dungeon. And we can't fast travel until we are out, which means we have to hike. From the console. Maybe this gets me out here a little earlier. Give me a shortcut out. Oh, platforming. The platform I believe I'm headed to is... Okay, nope, it's up this one. <laughs> Don't get my way, man. Okay, now what? Okay. Go back the other way. Okay, some loot. Not a lot, but it's something. So back this way. I 
Ah, uh, oh, I see. This force field keeps you from going straight from this room, that room there to this room here, or vice versa. Aha. Uh -huh. I had been thinking about swapping out Jal for one of the other members of my party. Um, but... Considering we're dealing with a lot of Angara, having Jal in the party is probably a big deal. And it'll probably open some doors for us. And considering we're dealing with remnant artifacts, this is probably a big deal for PB. Didn't notice that when it came down. We stocked on ammo. And now I can fast travel. What do you think this was for? Some kind of aqueduct? I don't know. That is actually a really good question. Because on the one hand, it kind of does, but on the other hand, this feels like a moat. Actually, we need to be here. We get to the camp. Yeah, this is probably works better because if you look at the indicator for the objective, well, you can't look at the indicator objective. This again, it's right there. Here, here, the objective, it's not showing that it's up or down from our current position, which means where right before it was. Okay, you can kind of, the backdrop is kind of translucent. I could probably make it more translucent. It is over there. I don't think I've gone to this encampment yet. Most of these guys that I've encountered, I've ended up having to shoot, and I'd rather not have to do that. Shit. Well, that's a problem then, because we kind of have to.
Okay. Oh, I can scan the bridge. That's cool. Oh crap! There's a shotgun. Um, can't change my loadout at, at the moment. Well, I could if I fell back to the relay, but I don't want to do that quite yet. Nice of them to extend the bridge right when I came to show up. Good news! Run a br run a bridge. They can't. Oh, oh! You want to do the sniper stuff? I can do the sniper stuff. I can still do better though for the sniper rifle because like my pistol takes three shots to kill most things. Okay, so this is where I want to go. Actually, want to go next because these guys are probably going to respawn every time. chest. Pardon me? These guys are going to respawn every time, and I don't... well, probably, and I don't want to have to fight through them every time. At least before I've gotten on good terms with the real car. Comma ray, and a data pad. Okay. So, basically, these guys, a lot of them had really nasty experiences, say, on Vold and elsewhere with the Ket. And including the Ket are the predominant extraterrestrial, extraterrestrial is the wrong term, extra non-Angaran entity in the galaxy. As far as we're, as far as they're concerned, all the other aliens here are bad, because the only other aliens they've encountered have been... Cat. And then we show up and we basically root, throw a monkey wrench to the whole ideology. Or are about to. Okay, oh, hey, chest. Fresh items, that's okay. Automated protocols activated. Deploy there we go, didn't even have to do anything. Alright, so we have the two camp up to there. Um I don't even put these I can put those in, because these take three points. Codex stuff. So we brought with reserves and allied secured the trust. And prove myself an ally twice over. We um I really wanted No. Terrain Pathfinder, okay. We have an entry on the Terrain Pathfinder, hey! Former Spectre, Avatis Rix.
Oh, Mason Barrow. Draudi, basically stuff about Angaran meditation and reincarnation. Usually it's, in, it's uh, within the lineages. Kind of learned already. Armament Destroyer. <laughs> In a destroyer, PB pulled her arm, rolled her eyes, answered, You figured out. That's fair. <laughs> oh. Okay. That's actually something I hadn't. Here's the reason why you read the codex entries destroying the turrets um, makes it move faster. And let you engage in a electromagnetic bur close range burst that can kill anyone that's too close. And they may be able to temporarily shut down and regenerate their turrets. So it's actually a situation where engaging center mass might actually be better rather than blowing up the turret. The more you know. Bestos. Lot of little side quest task things. I'm gonna get through these just so I have the, the freaking alert out of my hair. There is there is no mark as red here, which is kind of a bummer. There, still marked for some reason with the. That needs to be. Patched. Volt's 100%. Harvaral's 100%. Other Eos and Volt are 100%. Harvaral has a ways to go. Let's see if my game. Oops. Didn't want to do a new spot, but that's okay.